It was the number one downloaded documentary on Apple TV for a straight month. And when I tell you what it's about, you may be surprised. But that's because you haven't yet been schooled on the magic of mushrooms. The film's called Fantastic Fungi, and the filmmaker with the 411 is Louis Schwartzberg, and he joins us now. Hey, Louis, thanks for joining us. Good to be with you, Ian. Oh, man. First of all, amazing film. Uh, you use time lapse and you use high speed macro cinematography to give an unbelievable look at the natural world. And man, you make mushrooms look so good in every way. So let me geek out a little bit from the film side of it. How did you do this? As a filmmaker, you know, I love making the invisible visible. And I believe that nature is intelligent. And I've been shooting time lapse flowers and mushrooms nonstop for three decades, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I've squeezed 30 years into 16 hours of film. And mushrooms are billions of years old. They're complex, they're prolific, they're powerful, yet unseen, mysterious, and, and so misunderstood. I mean, fungi, they can feed you, they can heal you, you shift your consciousness, they even kill you. But there's over 1.5 million species, six times more than plants, and they are the largest organism on the planet. And they also live inside your body. They are their own kingdom. They make soil. They're the great decomposers of the forest. They're interconnected in a giant underground network called a mycelium. The mushrooms are the fruit. It's kind of like what the apple is to the tree. And the mycelium is this giant network connecting plants and trees to one another. I mean, a mother tree will even take care of its babies through the mycelium network. You say that Eastern medicine has been using it for centuries, but Western yeah. medicine got stalled to our great detriment. Explain that. Well, it, that's quite true. I mean, look, they've been used in, in sacred ceremonies for thousands of years by indigenous cultures all over the world as a rite of passage, as a way of connecting to the living world. And so, um, you know, mushrooms, they can connect mind, body, and soul to overcome illnesses. And we were getting to a point of discovering the benefits in, in the 60s and 70s when we were tapping into medicinal powers. And all the major medical research halted because they declared the war on drugs. And years of research was erased from being studied in psychology. So today, dozens of leading universities are engaging in clinical trials, resurrecting this research. And people forget that without fungi, we would perhaps have not the most powerful, life-saving medicine that has saved more human lives than anything else in modern times, penicillin. There are certain types of mushrooms that have gotten a lot of credit for not just medical breakthroughs, but environmental breakthroughs. What are they? Well, for example, um, oyster mushrooms have been used for microremediation. That means like cleaning up a toxic oil spill. They break down anything that's hydrocarbon-based. And the mushrooms can feed on that toxic waste. And then it can bring insects and birds in to eat the mushrooms. And then seeds are dropped. And guess what? Life regenerates itself. Another great mushroom, lion's mane mushrooms, stimulate nerve regeneration. And are really a giant benefit of memory loss. And especially useful in the work with Alzheimer's. And then turkey tail mushrooms have helped breast cancer patients. I mean, one of the leading mycologists in the world who's featured in my film, Paul Stamets, shares how his mother was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer, but after taking a course of lion's mane mushrooms, she had no more tumors. And you can find that research at the National Institute of Health website. The studies have showed that a single dose of magic mushroom can lessen depression for months, one or two pills, and you get a huge benefit. Wow. Well, Louis, what a great film. I mean, just well-organized, well-shot, well-researched. Thank you so much and continued success. Great being here with you. Thank you, Dr. Ian.